Hey, where are yeah, you? I'm in here. What are you doing? Uh, I was getting ready for the next project. What project? Oh, I didn't tell you. Um, Eric's project. What? So, so I have, Eric's got to do an ad for Benjamin Moore Paints. Okay. And he doesn't have a room to paint. Okay. But they need to have a room painted for the ad. So oh. I, I get to paint our bathroom and Eric gets to make a bunch of money from Benjamin Moore. You know, I thought you were a good buddy, but the only thing Jason asked me when I got in his truck is, are you going to spill that coffee in my truck? He wasn't like, oh, I hope you're comfortable. Like, get on in. Dude, so I've now I'm super your, nervous. I've seen your truck. That's why. Like, it's a great truck. It's gorgeous, but it's kind of filthy. <laughs> this truck's worth more than your life. <laughs> I feel like it is. <laughs> hey, can you just hold out the window? Sure. Your coffee. People Not won't. too close to the truck, though. <laughs> far away. Out the out <laughs> far. Stop. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, uh, just even looking at paintbrushes makes me kind of itchy. <laughs> <I see that. laughs> so it was at about that point right there when Stephanie said, why don't we just remodel the whole entire bathroom? Oh my gosh. So there were my next three weekends. Hey guys, what's going on, man? It's Friday and I'm out running some errands. That's usually what we do on Fridays. We don't work, so we use that day to kind of catch up and run some errands and do some extra work. So I am at Lowe's. I'm gonna go in here and last night I told my wife to order a vanity, uh, the light, the mirror, the faucet, all the things that we're gonna need for this bathroom remodel or renovation, you can call it. So she ordered them last night. I have not seen what she's picked and I don't know how much money she spent. So, so these are all the vanities that you can choose from and I found out which one the wife picked. Pretty pleased on that. She went with this one. It's got a cool barn door feature, three shelves there, and I like to see yellow, 249, not bad at all. She actually went with the mirror as well. And so now I just need to pick out a light and a faucet and we'll be good to go. Good job, honey. Hey, what's going on guys? We are back in the bathroom. It's time to get this bathroom makeover underway. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to replace this ceiling. Uh, as you guys saw in the video I did in the bedroom with the Armstrong tongue and groove ceiling, we are going to replace that ceiling with that material. And then we're gonna change this thing out. I don't know what that light is, but it sucks. So I bought a Braun all-in-one fan, heater, and light combo. Uh, the one thing I will need to do though is I'm gonna to have to change out my switch here because you need a triple switch. One for the light, one for the fan, one for the heater. And then this, another light switch here is going to work the new light that we're gonna put up there. So I'm gonna turn into master electrician Get that switched out, get the wire ran up, and get the new fart fan working. All right, got the ceiling down, and uh, just looking at this old fan here. Looks like he's got a bracket hanging down, which will be good, as long as the new fan has holes in the sides that I can use. So what I'll do is I'll take this one down now, and then it looks like... I'm going to have to probably cut some drywall out there and then unfortunately cut some drywall out there probably because I need to run more wire because that wire is not sufficient for the heater. So I need to run a couple, another line down to have two wires for the heater. Uh, like I talked about before, old Speedy Willie here. I don't know what, he's got a piece of plywood in there. And I don't know why the plywood is there. I don't know if maybe it's to pr 
tech the wires or something, but I need to get it out of there. So I got that open. I got that open. I got that off. So I think it's time to unbox this other fart fan and see what I got going on. Look at the instructions to see what kind of wire I need. And hopefully I can get this thing put in and wired up. Okay, so I found some wire that I need to uh, wire this thing up. The problem is that I can't get it down from there down to there because of all the insulation and everything that's in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take this file and I'm going to uh, tape it on the end like this. If you can see that. I'm going to tape it on the end so it's nice and straight and rigid and see if I can get that to push down in there. <clears throat> well, you almost got to see me totally lose it right there. Because it was not going and I was getting really, really, really upset. And thank you that there's no audio on that time lapse because it would not have been good. But uh, I persevered. I got through it. I got my wire through. So now it's time to uh, get this thing hung up and then get it wired. Okay, so I was able to use the old brackets that were there and I got that thing hung, which is good. I got her leveled that way, I got her leveled that way. <clears throat> and I made sure that the height was going to be the same as when I put the new ceiling in, it's supposed to be flush. So I have it flush with the new ceiling and that way the cover will go on nicely. Alrighty guys, so here we go. Got our switch in, three switches. Got our old switch in there that's gonna work the New light, new vanity light that goes up there. But let's see if she works. Light number one, or switch number one. Light, ba ba. Switch number two. Mmm, heat, heat. And switch number three. Fart fan. Well, <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. First try, it worked. I didn't time lapse at all just because it would have been way too long. But I got all that in, so that's step one. Next is the ceiling. All right, so you can see I have this hole now in my drywall that I had to cut out to get the wires in for the fart fan. So a little trick, I guess I saw it on TikTok or something, I don't know, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark the size of the square that I need like so. And then this is the bottom, so I'm gonna be here. And I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna take my square, I'm gonna square these up like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some excess paper on the outside so that when I put that in, the paper folds over here and I can feather it out with my mud and it'll be an easy fix. So I'm going to cut this right now. So Steph, if you want to stay on me there. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit of mud. Oh, this stuff's thick. Oh, man. Um, I can't use this stuff. All right, stop. <laughs> Dude, we're, drywall sucks. I found some lightweight spackle. I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is probably not ideal. But we're going to give it a try because I really don't feel like going to the store to get anything. Because it's Saturday afternoon and we got things to do and I really don't feel like going to the store. So I'm going to try to make this work. I don't know. Alright, so I did find some sheetrock, all-purpose sheetrock joint compound. But the problem with this is that it's super wet. I tried mixing it. I don't know, there might be a lot of stuff on the bottom. But 
Um, I'm gonna give this a whirl and see if it works. I don't know, it looks so wet, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I think that might suffice for my first layer. So I'm gonna let that harden up. I'll come back, give it a sand, put some more mud on it, feather it out, let it dry. So it's gonna take a couple turns, uh, tries to get that where I need it, so. All right, so I got my wall patched. Again, I'm gonna stay out here a little bit because I don't want you to get too close to see what that looks like. But, uh, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint that wall. I'm actually gonna paint everything again. Uh, there's some spots that don't look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just repaint the whole entire room and then after that it's time to vanity mirror light trim door crown molding and then we have a special treat that has to do with this Being the pro painter that I am, I did pre-paint the crown molding and also stained all of my trim with our favorite stain, Special Walnut. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out here is that I'm gonna have three inch trim here. I got a little bit bigger trim, three inch trim here that goes up and just misses the outlet there. And so I centered this vanity in between the trim and the wall there. Cause if I bang it to one side, this is not going to fit. So I'm hoping that it'll go in like this and I'm going to need to get some extra water lines. Hey Katie. Extra water lines to run up and over because that's the only way I think I can get it to fit. So I'm going to do a little test fit here and see what happens. I think that's going to be the position of it. Um, and you can see my trim's gonna go to like right there. So I got three and a quarter inches there and I got three and a quarter inches there. So it's gonna be centered in between the wall and the trim, which I think is gonna look the best. All right, so um, I was looking at the light and I'm looking at the instructions for the light and it shows it's just got one circle there that goes over the junction box and you put that bracket on there. But of course, old fast Willie, who built this house did not put a junction box in there. It's just some wire sticking through the wall and it's not centered. There's my center mark, there's my wires. So therefore I need to cut open the drywall, move that wire over there, patch that, and probably put a junction box in there so that I have one to screw to. All right guys, hey, what's going on? It's Friday and I feel refreshed. I've taken a couple days off from doing this bathroom makeover, but today's the day to finish it up. I got my beautiful assistant Stephanie there behind the camera. She's gonna help me out today. Well, we got a few things to finish up. I can get that light up, get the mirror up, a couple towel bars. I do have to still do the crown molding, which I'm not looking forward to, but I'm just gonna do it and just knock it out. And then last but not least, we still have to attack that. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video that we are Going to do a makeover on the shower and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So let's get to it. So as you can see, I did not install a junction box there for the light because the water line runs right back behind where I made that cut. So there was not room to put in a junction box. So I just put the bracket up with some drywall anchors and I'm gonna hope that it holds. A huge 
huge weight has just been lifted off of my body. I've been stressed out all week and I think I know why. It's because I've been thinking about doing this crown all week because I cannot stand doing crown. But it's up. It's not great by any means, but it's up. But you know what they say, caulk and paint made a carpenter when he ain't. So I'm gonna hit this with some big stretch in my gaps, make it look beautiful, and then it'll be all done. I don't have to worry about it. And then the last thing we need to do is so Steph's going to start cleaning the shower and then we'll get into exactly what we're doing with that thing. So, uh, get to it, babe. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Stephanie is hard at work cleaning this shower. How's that going, babe? Uh, it's coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, one other thing while I'm waiting for her to clean that up is, uh, I got to get this backsplash on. So I'm looking at the assembly instructions to mount the backsplash to the wall, apply a thin bead of silicone. What's silicone? We don't use silicone. We use Lexel. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of Lexel on the back of it here. Put a little Lexel on the bottom here. Put her in place. She'll dry up nice and uh, it'll be perfect. So let's go. I'll probably take my big stretch and just caulk around that top there just so that you don't see any gaps. But I think that's it. All right, back to cleaning. Oh. <laughs> Yo. All right, time to let the cat out of the bag. Of what's going on with this shower here. Steph's got it all cleaned up and the reason why she's cleaned it so good is because we are going to paint it. We are going to paint the aluminum, metal, I don't even know what it is. Whatever's on here, we're gonna paint it because we hate the color of it. So what we're gonna do first is now that it's clean, we are gonna go and we are gonna take our palm sander and we are gonna sand down and hit all of the metal with the palm sander. Then we're gonna go in and we are going to tape off everything, which is not gonna be fun, but we gotta tape off all the glass, the wall, the floor, the ceiling, everything taped off. Then we're going to take some acetone, and we are gonna wipe down all of the metal again one last time to make sure that's super clean, no grease, no grime, nothing on it, acetone. Then we're going to take self-etching primer. I talked to Jamie, he said this is what you need to use when you're painting aluminum like this, metal, that it etches itself into the metal and it helps the paint adhere to it. So we're gonna spray this on there, let it dry, then we're gonna go in and hit it with some matte black on all of the metal. And I think it's going to look phenomenal. It's going to take a while, but I think it's going to look great. So here we go. Definitely more of a modern look. Yeah, that's why you're, that's why Stephanie's cleaning. If you're wondering why I made her do this, because this is her idea. So I figured if, since it's her idea, she could help me at least clean it a little bit. So that's why, that's why I'm making her clean. It's not really her forte, if you don't know that. All right, that's a three week wrap up on the bathroom makeover. We had a few bumps, a few snags, but nothing that we couldn't figure out. And that's gonna be expected when you're doing a home renovation like this. Uh, most importantly, I think it looks fantastic. The wife thinks it looks fantastic. Let's see what you think. Let's take a look. <laughs>
like always, thanks for hanging out with me today, and we'll catch you on the next one.